the Soul Wars Cave. I'm going to go over where it has its uses inside the game and the average time it's going to take you to get it. The Soul War Cape only has stats and prayer, but it has the highest prayer bonus out of any cape in the game at 8. Prayer bonus works pretty simple for every point in prayer that you have. It's going to last about 3% longer. So with the Soul Wars Cape alone, your prayer is going to last 26% longer. Let me break that down in terms of prayer potions. If my prayer is lasting 25% longer, I'm using a quarter less of my prayer potions. So an easy way to look at this is for every plus 8 prayer you have, it's going to be one extra prayer dose. Let's go into each combat style and see where this is really beneficial. When meleeing and slayer, it's not uncommon to be using protection prayer and piety. Uh, you would likely be sacrificing your fire cape to wear this. Now, sacrificing 4 strength for 8 prayer bonus might seem a little crazy, but guys, we've been doing the same exact thing for proselyte for years. Uh, both chess pieces provide 4 strength, and we sacrifice that for our proselyte top that also has an 8 prayer bonus. So you can actually double up on your prayer equipment for longer trips or decide when strength or prayer is more valuable. I like the cape personally because it allows me to have armor and prayer bonus at the same time for tasks in case I want to use piety but I don't want to use protection prayers. Range has a little trouble using the Soul Wars cape because of the need for Avas devices. If you ever find yourself using a crystal bowl or more likely chinchampas then this cape does have its uses. This cape is amazing for chinning, okay? Even against the assembler, this much prayer bonus is so useful, it could be a toss-up. For anyone who's seen the Chinchampa guide, or anyone who's trained like this before, you know how important prayer is. This just offers a huge bonus for a very small loss in damage. Let's get on to magic. Very similar to range, when you are bursting or barraging, you gotta have those prayers up. This happens most commonly in Slayer. And versus the regular god capes, the Soul Wars cape is just better. Losing that magic accuracy may not seem like a lot, but the tasks that we would barrage have such low magic defense, people are already bursting them and barraging them in proselyte armor, which has our negative 51 magic accuracy. But when you imbue it, that's when things become tricky. The imbue cape offers a 2% strength bonus that does not always give you a max hit. Look to see what you're equipping and if your imbue cape is going to put you into that next bracket or not. These are the cool uses for the cape that stood out to me, but I'm sure there's many more. But let's get on to how long it's going to take you to get one of these capes. So I consider myself a very average player in terms of Soul Wars. I AFK a lot, I don't usually get a lot of points per game, and in general I play to have fun, not get too many points. I did this solo on the regular Soul Wars world, and I kept track of what happened each game. I ended up playing 56 games of Soul Wars, uh, winning 35 of those, losing 19, and having 2 draws. But my average zeal was only 44 per game. You can get up to 60 zeals for wins, 40 for losses, 50 for draws. Even though my wins look good, I was averaging way less zeal than is possible for to get each game. It seems even the lower levels were averaging higher zeal than me, I was just having a little bit too much fun. So I'm going to give you a couple of time frames here. One of me playing, kind of average in terms of zeals, and one you can expect if you know what you're doing and you're trying to get the maximum zeal. It may be possible to get 60 every game, but I consider this a little unrealistic since you can lose. I lost a third of my games, but if I was actually going for the max zeal each time, my average would have been 53 instead of 44. So Soul Wars takes about 15 minutes to complete. The game sometimes finishes early, and sometimes you're in the waiting room. Pretty much evens out, so we're going to keep it very simple here and just keep it at 15 minutes per game. My play style, it took me 56 games at 15 minutes each, which turns out to exactly 14 hours. If I played for maximum zeal each game, it would have only taken me 47 games for the cape, which comes out just under 12 hours. I'm base 90s in combat, and combat does make this game easier, but even lower levels have methods for averaging higher zeal than I was. But best and worst case scenario, this cape will take somewhere between 11 and 16 hours, depending on how you play the game. I was just doing the math anyway, so I want to let you guys know. On average, the Soul Wars pet takes 12,000 points to get from the crates. With those exact numbers from above, that would mean 55 hours to 70 hours on average for the pet. Alright, that's all for the item review. Feel free to comment any questions, like the video if it helped you learn anything, and if you're new, please subscribe. Peace, my dude.